Very good morning to you. How are you doing? All right, hope your weekend's going well. Thank you to the lady of the house, yet again, for a, always a good start to the video. A colourful start. Um, yeah, welcome to the weekend. Uh, we celebrated last Friday, because it was a leap year this year, 29th of February, wasn't it? Well, the 1st of March is uh, uh, St David's Day here in Wales, so, um, so if anybody's got any Welsh roots in, in your family, um, happy St David's Day for last Friday, so right shave. I fancied a single edge today, so I'm going with a Rockwell um, razor. The Rockwell razor rock. Sorry, this is the e Rockwell Rockwell razor rock. They're all got rocks in they? Um, rock razor rock. <laughs> take two razor rock eco SE three piece non adjustable. Quite a lightweight, and that's what, that's what it is. Inside that, we're going to use one of these Derby Professional. Already, um, if I can open oh, it's one of these, isn't it? He opens like a lid. I keep forgetting. There they are, you see. Help yourself. I have got one there, um, a used one, but that is a Euromax, so. They come in like that. You can make one of these yourself, just uh, get a double edged blade while it's in its envelope and just snap it in half. So that's what I'm going to use, brand new. So bear with me while I place this carefully. It goes on there, like so. You can see that. We'll get the tricky stuff done first and then. No overhang on this razor. You can see the blade there, it's lovely and easy. A soap I've not used for many years. Well, I might have used it, it's, no, it might be too much. I've used it in a year or two maybe, but I've had it for many years. Rock Rose Apothecary. And this is the shaving soap, grapefruit and ginger, crafted with care from Tem Temecula, California. Lovely stuff. It's shown its age in the, oh, that's lovely. There, and you can see what I take it out there. Works well, lovely scent, grapefruit and ginger. The, the combination is nice. I've put some in the Captain's Choice original there. Brush, another one that sits on the shelf uh, for a while. And this is the AP Shave Co, Shave Company. And this is their Sinbad. 26 millimeter synthetic in the red and well, it looks white in there. I think it's a bit of an ivory color So that's that so we'll lather this up first then just wet the brush and then we'll wet the face and we'll proceed with a Sunday shave So thanks for joining me wet but it's not dripping we may go back Yeah, it's lovely. I, um, I'll try and put a link to this uh, Rock Rose Apothecary if you, man, many of you have heard of them, hopefully, if you've been uh, around for a few years. That's lovely. Oh yeah, the scent is nice. Especially if, if you're over in the States. Surprising, you know, when you think um, there's so many shaving channels, so many shaving outlets on, on the internet, isn't it? As in um, Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube, forums, um, all sorts of things, websites. And yet sometimes you'll do a video using a soap you think people have heard of because you've used it or you've had it for years and they've never heard of them. So it's always worth revisiting um, different soaps and different things. And I think that is perfect for me. That is lovely. Okay. 
less jibber jabber and more shavy jabber. Don't ask. That's over there. That's nice. Yeah, ready for a shave. So, have you been looking forward to the weekend? I hope so. And I hope you're having a nice weekend. Thank you. Mm. See these soaps sometimes when you open the lid. Some people would look at that and think, ooh, can't use that and throw it. It's just it's it's just a lay on the top if you go underneath, lovely. Nothing wrong with the stuff on the top, but it just doesn't look uh, like it would when it was new. But as you can see, works a treat, lathers up nicely. So a single edged razor shaving today. Nice shave, nice uh, change. So we'll heat up the Razor Rock Eco. Very, very lightweight. I think it's um, aluminium, uh, aluminium, yes, I know. Uh, so it's very light. Here we go, first pass. And it's coloured, obviously, black. Nice blade. Easy to find the angle on this. <laughs> Someone asked, oh, it must have been a couple of years ago now in one of, under one of the videos, and said, um, I was talking about you know, the angle of the rays and he said, how, how do I know if I've got the wrong angle on my razor. And I simply said, you'll be bleeding. <laughs> Quite profusely, and you'll be, you'll probably say ow first as you cut yourself. Very audible, lovely scent of, um, there's a scent there which is a combination of grapefruit, the citrus and the ginger. Now if you didn't know those two were in it, you would smell that and think that's nice, but you wouldn't put your finger on it, what it is. But it's a, it's, it's a scent that comes through from the mixture of the two. It's around medium aggression, mm, slightly above maybe. It's very audible. Sounds like you've burnt the toast and you're trying to scrape it with a knife. Have you ever done that when you've... <laughs> Nice Very efficient razor. Very, very soft. Not this, really soft, but it, as you can see, it lathered that sort of soap 
okay it's been pressed and you know spread out in the bowl but it's uh, it's not been bloomed or anything like that but just wet the brush as we went didn't we so you know things don't have to take a long time so we cross the growth so as I say it's a nice feeling on the skin you can hear that blade it's a nice razor to handle nicer as a chain shave of the day if you haven't one please and your meal talk about my meal in a minute Oh, I tell you what uh, I've found, I've bought. It's a, a sausage, which is very famously from the south. And it's called um, a Savoy sausage. And it's just like a spiced, not hot spicy, just a spiced sausage, I believe. Uh, it looks red. It looks very much like the Frankfurt of the hot dog sausage, you know. And I've been dying to try one and they're readily available um, down south in London and places like that and surrounding areas. And I believe you can you can buy them up north now in certain chip shops in certain places. So, but not around here, obviously. <laughs> so um, there's a chap I watch on YouTube who's a southerner. And he knows his Savoy sausages. And he said he bought some from a shop we have here called B and M's. Just like um, it's like a, it's a like a supermarket, um, but there's a lot of sort of well priced things in there. If you have lots of choice and quite well priced, um, not overly expensive. And uh, third application. So we were passing a, a B and M's, quite a big store locally, and um, I was thinking. I said to Mrs. H, I'm just going to pop in here just in case they have these Savoy. But I thought it's going to be a sudden thing; they won't have them here. Went in, they had them there. <laughs> I was like a child with find, finding a sweet shop. <laughs> So you leave them in this plat. There's four of them in a packet, like this sort of thing, and you leave them in the packet and you boil them for 15 minutes till they're piping hot, and then you open it up and you eat them. Never tried them, so I'm looking forward to that. A Savoy sausage, yeah. S A V A L O. Hang on, Savoy Sav. Sava, Savaloy, so S A V A L O Y, isn't it? Against the growth. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be as good as the. Oh, the reason I bought them, that's right, this chap I know on YouTube is. He, um, Oh, I always eat Savoy from the chip shops, lives just outside London. And he said these from B&M were good. So, that's why I bought them. This is nice, you know. See, another good travel razor. This would be very, very light.
Now this is a good blade. I like the blade, but I have, it's not the best, but it's, for me. But um, that's nothing against the blade. It's a good blade, it's doing its job. But uh, I, I think I'd feel, for me, you know, this is where blade and you, different blades and you work you know, it doesn't work for everyone because uh, some people would say no best blade ever I would I may try a persona or a Wilkinson sword in it can't believe I haven't already maybe I have but I can't remember and I like that because it means it's a surprise Well, unless it doesn't work, then it's not nice of it. I've used the derbies in the... in the double edge. Good blade. Plus the derby premium. That is nice. Right. What time is it now? Before I tell you what's for lunch. Slickness is good by the way, gets better. It's there on the first pass, but as the second and third come in, it's much better. Three to one, pick up time, baby. And what time is it? Lunch time. What are we having? Roast beef, Welsh beef too. Yeah, roast beef. I'm gonna do some roast potatoes. I've got some, I got uh, mustard or horseradish, I've got both there. Um, I'm going to do some, oh no that's with a steak, I've got some peppercorn sauce, I'm going to do gravy, yeah, roast beef, gravy, roast potatoes, um, marrow fat peas, I've got some broccoli and pick up time, what else have I got? I thought I had something else to go on the beef. Probably just a bit of horseradish or mustard. Now I believe our mustard here, big famous English mustard is Coleman's. And I was told that our mustard is much stronger than the American mustard. Now I have tried the some American mustards, which we can get here, if they're authentic American mustards, obviously, uh, used in hot dogs, and it is uh, milder. So if you like mustard, you'd love our Coleman's mustard, lovely strong. Some people like the French mustard and things like that. Dijon mustard. God, full of it today, isn't it? Food and... But um, yeah, so roast beef, roast potatoes, marrow fat peas, broccoli, gravy. And either a bit of mustard on the beef or um, horseradish, which is another strong thing. That's better. Lovely. Cold water is. Yeah. Another thing I bought was some. Uh, here we go again. Um. Three chilli sausages and uh, I think there's a strong presence of garlic in them because when I was putting them through the till, the lady, you know, the checkout, 
Oh, she said, something smells nice here. Oh, I said, it's these. Oh, <laughs> I want to get some to take home. So I said, oh, you'll have discount, staff discount. We're going to use Humphrey's Citrus Witch Hazel because of the uh, grapefruit that's in that and the ginger. Grapefruit, lovely. That's nice, though. And then we're going to use a cologne I've not used for a while. Evin Lemon. So I'm going to have the... Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> oh, You know, these aftershaves, using these many years ago when I started, uh, sort of trying different things. And so these are like a vintage for me going back. It reminds me of when I started shaving. <laughs> and then the Arconem, this is the yogurt and blackberry. Beautiful. And you're so tempted to, when you see that, it looks like yogurt, doesn't it? And it smells like it. But obviously you don't need to. It's much easier to put on than the standard classic arco because that's a thicker and you have to rub it in. It gives your face a good workout. It gets the blood vessels to the front. Good. That's lovely. So that's it, I will jibber jabber, no more, I'll keep, I know you're gonna, you must have better things than <laughs> to do than listen to me waffling on. So we've used the Razor Rock Eco SE, single edged razor, non-adjustable, no overhang, Derby Professional um, single edged blade, good blade, does the job, but I've used better, but that's personal choice. Um, the AP Shave Co, the Sinbad 26mm Synthetic, Captain's Choice Bowl, and of course the main ingredient in this recipe, that's a good one, isn't it? was a Rock Rose Apothecary, and that's the grapefruit and the ginger shave soap. Beautiful. And what else have we used? Welsh Water to Rinse, Humphreys Citrus Witch Hazel, Evin Lemon Cologne, 60 60 degrees, 60 percent, 60 percent, and um, maybe, yeah, the Arco. Uh, this is the yogurt and blackberry uh, moisturizing cream. If you don't believe me, it says it there, it's, it's blurred to me. I'm just hoping you can see that. There you go, there is some fruit there. Anyway, sorry to waffle on. Thanks very much for watching and all your support. and time it takes i really appreciate it and the comments i like to read them uh, sometimes as i'm cooking <laughs> so thanks very much and uh regards from mrs h as well and we'll see you in wednesday shave i've been sent a package a surprise package by a chap called dave and there's all sorts of shaving stuff in there so i'll be nitpicking at them during the next weeks and months um, so if you're watching this thanks dave and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which is on Wednesday. Have a great weekend and start to next week. All the best and bye-bye.